الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اما بعد ايها الاحباب امام الحسن البصري رحمه الله تعالى said mentioning the four signs of wretchedness and again this from is from the wisdom of the salaf of this ummah the Salaf al-Salih, Ridwan Allahi alayhim, and may Allah bless him with Jannah of Ardos, Ameen, Ya Rabbil Alameen, and bless us to be upon their path, Ya Rabb. Imam al-Hassan al-Basri, Rahimahullah Ta'ala said, Four signs of wretchedness are having a hard heart, Number two, dry eyes that never cry. Number three, extended hopes about this life. And number four, and greed and keenness to amass worldly things. Ayul Ahbab, what a profound and beneficial statement Imam al Hassan al Basri, rahimahullah ta'ala, came with that these are the four signs of wretchedness, of lowliness. The first is having a hard heart, meaning a heart that has only harshness in it, little mercy. Weak Iman. And the second he mentioned, are dry eyes, so eyes that never cry, because crying is a sign of mercy, and it's a sign of humility and humbleness, and especially when one cries before Allah Azza wa Jal, alone, weeping before your Lord Subhanahu, that only you and Him are aware of, and the reasons behind that. Weeping for your sins, weeping for his hope and his mercy, having khof wa rajav. And the third thing he mentioned, rahimahullah ta'ala, rahmatullah alayhi, he said extended hopes about this life. So to be, there's no doubt, planning for our futures, that this is, permissible and this is okay and this is fine but to be excessive in planning thinking that you're guaranteed a long life and planning I'm going to do this at 40 and at 50 I'm going to do this and at 60 I'm definitely going to do this and and we've got to have this by this we've got to accumulate this by this that in great investment in this worldly life and then the fourth thing that he mentioned rahimahullah ta'ala he mentioned greed and keenness to amass worldly things. So again, that kind of goes with it to, to be excessive in loving this life and to accumulate wealth, putting all of your energies, all of your plan, all, all of your energy and all of your plans and all of your efforts into this worldly life. Verily, he prefers the life of this world. The Prophet ﷺ said, dunya kafir. He said that this life is the paradise for the disbeliever and a prison for the believer. So Ayyul Ahbab, reflect, strive for the hereafter by doing good and righteous deeds in this life. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with awm nafia, wa rizqan tayyibah, wa amna mutaqabbilan, wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad.